This ATV update brought to you by your local Castle Building Centers. Good evening, I'm Peter Millett from the ATV News Center. Iraq has been attacked in a joint military operation launched by the Americans and the British. Operation Desert Fox was launched today over Iraq's defiance over UN weapons inspections. Canada is expressing support for the strikes, but so far there's no comment from Prime Minister Chrétien. Closer to home, criminal charges have been laid against Nova Scotia independent MLA Reeves Matheson. The 46-year-old former lawyer is accused of stealing money from his clients in the Glace Bay practice. Police say the 12 charges against him include theft, fraud, breach of trust, and uttering forged documents. Matheson will appear in court January 12th. Melvin Lay bolts a free man tonight. A jury found him not guilty of setting a fire in 1981 that killed his five children and injured his wife. Leibold had faced five counts of second-degree murder and one of attempted murder. The defense has rested at the Halifax sex crimes trial of former Nova Scotia Premier Gerald Regan. Capping a three-hour summation, defense lawyer Eddie Greenspan said that the Crown has not proven its case. He said the jurors have to ask themselves why the complainants were so long in coming forward. Some of the allegations of rape and attempted rape date back 42 years. Two Halifax brothers are dead following a plane crash in Nova Scotia. Their Cessna went down last night. The wreckage was found by searchers about 6.30 this morning near Liverpool, Nova Scotia. Still no word on the cause of the crash. And New Brunswick is spending almost $40 million over the next year to fix up schools. But the education minister says that some schools are in such bad shape they should be closed. In all, 300 schools will be looked at. Repairs could take seven years. Weather-wise, it looks like these next few days we'll see more winter-like weather in many communities in the region as a few disturbances get set to track through. Peter Code has all of our weather details tonight on Nightside. We'll see you then.